You have to try new things. Embrace them. Is that what you do now, is it? Funk season four just dropped on Vimeo and we have a lot to talk about. Now, for those of you unaware, Flunk is an Australian web series, a very queer web series. And like I mentioned, season four just dropped. If you want to catch up on all the other seasons and movies, it is available on their YouTube channel, which I'll have a link in the description. Now, I am a huge Flunk fan. I, I think it's cheesy as hell. I love it, you know? But I don't know if it's just like the mood that I'm in and just needing like fluffy, lighthearted, fun stuff. But this season... Oh, it was, what's the right word? A downer. <laughs> I can't help it. I, I hate who I am. It's just every storyline was a little depressing. I'm not going to lie. I'm a big fan of Heidi and Saffron. I love them, you know, I love them since the get-go. But their storyline, even though they were together this season, it was sort of brought down by the fact that one, Saffron's mum, which had the biggest stick up her ass. I've been invited to a party. No way, absolutely not. And Heidi's stepdad kicked her out. She, she's essentially homeless. You can stay here as long as you need. Sure, I mean it. And is dealing with, you know, social services and stuff like that. So while they were together this season, it wasn't light and fluffy, that's for sure. <laughs> We had Ingrid and Celeste's storyline. Again, I adored them at the end of last season. I was like, oh damn, these two are cute. This could like lead to a really interesting storyline. I want to make you happy because you make me happy. But I mean, of course their storyline was kind of brought down this season by Brayden. Obviously we had like Celeste cheat on Brayden with Ingrid. You just can't find out, at least not yet. Which, not great, obviously, but we dive into like uh, bullying and mental health issues, which Ingrid has struggled with a lot previously. And so there was a big focus on that. And, and Ingrid and Celeste never really got to dive into it much of a relationship at all. And unfortunately, it looked like this was Ingrid's goodbye, I guess. Like at the end of the season, we sort of had like a wrap up of her time on the Flunk series. And I was like, oh, is this like a goodbye to the, the character of Ingrid? Um, I think I'm gonna need a break from all of this. We also have Danny and Jazz at the start of season four. And again, it looks like their storylines are wrapped up, but I mean, I'm not too bummed about that. I'm not a huge fan of Danny or Jazz. So the fact that their storyline wrapped up at the start of the season, I wasn't too fussed about. And then of course, we've also got the, uh, the aftermath of like Ruby and Saffron and like, yeah, Ruby is just a mess. I don't like her. Obviously, what she did to Saffron last season was awful. And she had to sort of deal with the consequences of that s this season with a lot of people like outcasting her. Why are you here then? Because I have a right to exist. So do cockroaches. And for good reason. But honestly, like I couldn't even enjoy that. Like I couldn't even enjoy Ruby. Ruby's shunning. I don't even know what I'm saying. But I couldn't even enjoy that because I was like, man, everything else is so depressing. This is just as depressing on top of it. <laughs> so yeah, it was definitely like, uh, it was, a, 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 yeah, I don't, <laughs> it was a slog to get through. We had little glimpses of, of Astrid this season, which I feel like Astrid as a character is so under like you utilize she is like one of my favorite characters i don't like i just love her and they uh, we never get enough of her so i wish we have more of her moving forward i will say the highlight of this season the saving grace of this season was the bonus episode runaways now as an fyi i believe this bonus episode is vimeo only so if you plan on just watching it free on their YouTube channel. I don't think you're gonna get the bonus episode. And honestly, I feel like the bonus episode, like I said, is the saving grace of the season. So I would actually recommend checking it out, which means, you know, checking it out on, on their Vimeo. But we got some like throwbacks and some crossovers. We had Sabina from the movie, The Exchange. So we obviously have seasons of Flunk, but they also have like these movies that play in between sometimes. And the exchange was this sort of uh, New Zealand spin-off 
almost all flunk that they produced during COVID when Australia had all those lockdowns. And Sabina was a main character in that uh, movie. I'm not gonna lie, I didn't like Sabina in the movie. <laughs> she was an asshole, but we sort of got to know her a bit better at the end of the movie and uh, you know, you can kind of understand some things. But in this bonus episode, she's on exchange here in Australia, which I kind of love. And she gets along quite well with Tabby. You brought me to see more of Australia. Is that what you call it? Which was fun to have Tabby back. Like I enjoy Tabby, she's great. And I think Tabby and Sabina have some serious serious chemistry like I thoroughly enjoyed this storyline even though like I said Sabina a bit prickly <laughs> you know do you realize she's my ex right yeah no you haven't mentioned that I kind of like the dynamic between Sabina and Tabby you know I think it'd be fun to watch so I mean that kind of gets me excited to season for season five if they explore that a little bit more I have no idea if they will but we also sort of get like a bit of a wrap up for Saffron and Heidi because the season four did kind of leave Saffron and Heidi on a cliffhanger. I will never forgive you for this, Saffron. I will never forgive you. But they kind of wrap it up a little bit more in season four. I don't mean wrap up like their storyline is over, but they give it a little bit more clarity to the situation and a little bit more hope to the situation. So I feel like without watching this bonus episode, I'd be like so depressed for season five. <laughs> That's why I would like highly recommend checking out this bonus episode because yeah, we've got some great chemistry and some great scenes between uh, Sabina and Tabby. And we do have like sort of hope for Saffron and Heidi at the end of it. I have to say, I, I really don't like Saffron's family. I mean, I feel like I don't like anyone's family <laughs> in this show, but like Saffron's mom, obviously, like I said, this season, we got way too much of her and she's not a fun time. <laughs> And then in the bonus episode, we got Saffron's sister who obviously redeemed herself a little bit at the end. Do you want a lift? You would drive me? There's nothing worse than wondering what could have been. But during the episode, I was like, man, why are you mean? <laughs> but yeah, Flunk season four is definitely an interesting watch. I, like I said, it could just be like my headspace where I'm at right now and was just kind of like, I'm definitely in a space where I need like fluffy, happy stuff. So maybe that's why I sort of saw it more depressing than it actually was. I don't know. Let me know your thoughts. Have you watched season four? Did you have the same thoughts and feelings that I did about the season? Or am I being way too dramatic about it? But speaking of fun, we've got a new couple on the TV show, Ted Lasso between Keely and Jack, who I am so excited for but also a little bit nervous for, I'm not gonna lie. If you wanna learn more about them, check this video out here. Otherwise, I'll see you all in my next video. Okay, bye.